So I'm going to show you another case that you ask me, how do you advance the maxilla? I don't use the face mask. I fail there. So this is a patient that uh, has a moderate to severe sleep apnea and is already set in mind financially no problem for MMA. All right? So we use, again, this is the first generation or second generation of apno uh, TX. So at the time we were doing braces. That's the beauty of apno TX that works with Invisalign uh, uh, and braces. So we started doing basic and uh, doing spaces here. We did the lower expansion, and I want you to notice something. The way that we are expanding the mandible with Dane actually increases the length of the mandible about two or three millimeter. Wow. I was going to ask you about lengthening of the mandible and if you ever did uh, ramus distractors, but this kind of gets to that because you are getting some lengthening of the mandible f from the dame. Yes, two or three millimeter, not more than that, okay? which is significant. Do you think that the, uh, the, uh, the main, the maxillary expander, expands the, ma the maxilla forward two or three millimeters too, or not really? Yes, Dr. Moon research showed that, yes, when we expand, that maxilla can drop down and a little bit forward in some cases, okay. yes. Okay. So you can see it a little bit here. So we expanded the mandible, and uh, you know, now the upper one is with the other system, Don, D O N E. So he had maxillary expansion and procedure that we facilitated the upper teeth come forward. So this is now we remove the appliance, and I want you to pay attention to the how much. So at this point, the issue at MMA is completely eradicated. He does not need MMA because his sleep apnea is gone. And look at the um, uh, how much of the maxilla and mandible came forward. Is it noticeable? It's a, it's a beautiful result. The only thing is very important, Ron. Uh, the mandible is seated in condyle. And so that's what the, all these pictures are in CO, which is centric occlusion, meaning that the condyle seated teeth are, you know, perfectly together. So it is not that just the condyle is distracted forward and the lower jaw looks good, but the bite is not orthopedically stable. Again, the stability of these cases, we call it a stable, when we have pharyngeal orofacial, pharyngeal orofacial stability, airway is happy, bite is happy, face is happy, and this is one of the cases. Do you see the airway before and after? Yeah, he went from he went from looking like a boy to looking like a man. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's amazing what uh, expanding the jaws will do for how a man looks, isn't it?